intro and the camera wasn't recording. Anyway, this is my long awaited, long overdue makeup collection video. I'm so excited. Uh, if you've never seen a makeup collection video, get from under the rock. Let's go. Um, I basically go through my entire collection and all my makeup storage and just show you um, what I have and everything that I own and how I organize it and how I store it and everything like that. Okay, so with a <sighs> disclaimer, you know, I, I gotta put this disclaimer out there. I'm not trying to brag or show off. This video is not meant to do that. However, it's meant to share my collection. I have worked hard to collect all these things. I love makeup. I love collecting. I've been on YouTube for over five years, and this is, while this is not my full-time job, I do have a full-time job. Um, this is a hobby that I've invested a lot of time and, and money into, and I just, I just love what I do. Um, again, it's a collection like any other collection. I know I have too much makeup or it's a lot of makeup. I don't care to hear that. Um, I know, but it's a collection. It makes me happy. And I use it all, and I love it, and I review it, and I sit here and go through it every single day. I don't have to defend myself to anybody, but in case someone wondered, why would one want all that makeup? It's, one doesn't need it, but one wants it. So, anyway, anything else is going to be a kind of long video. The makeup collection videos and room tours and things like that seem to be long. Get your drink, get your snack, pause it here and do that and just sit back and enjoy it. Uh, anything else? I'll link um, different storage and if I can, like where I got certain things. Um, I'm also going to link down below the playlist to where my uh, makeup collection uh, other videos, my beauty room tour if you want to see the entire room as well as how I stored and organized my makeup back at my old house. I have like four or so makeup collection videos now. You can just see the transition of my collection and the growth of my collection throughout these five years. Um, anything else I need to share with you? No. So without further ado, let's hop into the collection. Okay, so when you walk into my makeup beauty room, this is what you see in this corner. This is the entire just makeup corner, storage, collection, everything situation. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do one of the, we're going to go around the room, I mean around the area. So I'm going to start here and work my way around. Just some big things. Um, white lemon tabletops from Ikea, Ikea Alex drawers. I'll link those by now. You know, they're just cult favorites. Um, I'm not a big fan of white, uh, but this, these tall drawers only came in white and I wanted everything to match when I started make, you know, making, get my furniture together. That's the only reason, but they reflect light well, they look nice and I just deal with it. But, um, it's kind of hard, you know, you don't want to be like everybody else, but the Alex drawers, they just store makeup well. They do. They do the job. Uh, my ring light here, and then I have my Impressions Vanity Mirror here. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go around the collection. So, right here on this little gold table, the table was actually black. I got it from Five Below. Spray painted gold. Um, this basket houses all my new stuff that I need to film a haul on. There's nothing in the basket because <laughs> I haven't chopped for anything. I have so much new things I'm I'm using and trying now. But anyway, that's what I just I just keep it there. Like I have a spot for everything. Organization is key for me. And yeah, I have a spot for everything. So new things that need to be hold. Okay. So this is again a closer look at the corner. I wanted a corner because I wanted everything within arm's reach. I did not want to have to get up or anything. Okay, so this is where I sit when I film videos. There's me in the mirror. Uh, however, this is what you see when I film videos. Me right here. Um, but, yeah. So, on top I have these, oh my god, Pampered Chef Rotating uh, Utensil Holders. Okay, so what they're made to do is hold like forks and spoons and things. Um... My story with these is Emily Noel 83 has one and she says she found it in the house that she moved into. So I went on the Pampered Chef website. They don't sell them in white anymore. Um, so I had to go to eBay and I like threw out the time. I managed to accumulate four of them from like buying them off of eBay. Um, and so I keep all my brushes in these and they are perfect. So in here I keep all my powder face brushes. So anything that I put on my face that's powder goes, the brush goes here. You have full powder brushes, um, 
blush, contour, bronzer, all of that. Highlight, it, it, it goes in here, okay? In the middle, I have all of my eye brushes kind of sorted by tight, blending, fluffy, crease, things like that. And then on this one are all my cream face brushes. So anything I'm blending a cream on my face, whether it's concealer, foundation, contour, cream highlight, it goes in here, okay? So... I have an Ikea Alex drawer underneath of here that I'm going to go in. I have some hair storage over there. Um, so I'm going to go in that one first, and then we're going to continue to make our way around the setup. So this drawer houses um, most, most of my face products, most of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> the top drawer is organized to hold tools and whatnot so i have my eyelash curlers lip balm well not all my lip balms but my lip treatments and different things q-tip mini q-tips mini cotton swabs i actually use these um disposable mascara spoolies they're like i use them in my makeup kit but they're also used to exfoliate my lips with lip scrubs Sp um sponges and different things i have all my small perfume samples here different tools scissors to open up packaging um, my little mini mirrors and sharpeners and things in this top drawer, okay? All right, next we have concealers in this drawer. Uh, concealers and color correctors. On the right here, we have some color correctors with color correcting palettes. Um, more concealer palettes, color correcting palettes. You know, this Pantone Sephora one is my favorite. Alright, and then my concealers are sorted by shade pretty much. So these are skin tone concealers. Concealers I can wear under or over foundation like just to match my skin tone. I have everything from NARS uh, to Iman. We have NYX. Um, just all, all types. All types are in this one. Okay? Then if you go, I'll go this way first. These are like the neck shade up, one to two shades lighter than my skin that I'll put on to brighten my face, to give a natural brightness to it. They're not too harsh, not too over the top, just a super natural uh, brightening under the eye area, okay? Then this is the next probably like three shades lighter than my skin tone. This is the Glam Instagram Beat My Face Concealers. Honestly, when I'm wearing a full face of makeup, concealers from this shade range are usually what I'm wearing uh, to highlight my face. And then the back are ones that are really, really light. And so I mean mix them with a deeper tone concealer to get a good brightening effect. Um, but yeah, all brands, like I said, NARS, we have the Tarte. Uh, shape tape in there, Maybelline, various ones. I don't sort my face product, my concealer products by brand. Some things I started to sort by brand. I used to not like to, but similar brands have similar, I mean, things with the same brand have the same packaging, therefore they fit better together. But in here are all my contour palettes. Uh, in the back, we have all the cream contour palettes. It doesn't matter. We have Anastasia Beverly Hills, Ulta, Black Radiance, um, Cover Girl, Ruby Kisses, doesn't matter, cream contour palettes. Up here we have uh, most of my powder contour palettes with some overflow over here. Um, again, various brands. And then right here I just have single, like, cream contour wands and an individual shade I contour with. There's a bronzer, just a little bit of something, something, okay? Next drawer, we have highlighters. Um, minus palettes, okay? Um, minus some, no, minus a few highlighters. <laughs> All right, so I just stuffed as many as I could in here. Again, similar brands have similar packaging. So, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, Extra Dimension Skin Finish. We have my Becca ones. Over here, we have random brands, Inglot, Urban Decay, uh, Maybelline, uh, NYX, Milani, um, Rainbow Highlighter from Wet n Wild, Cover Effects. LA Girl, I love these strobe light powders, Wet n Wild, uh, what is that, City Color. Um, right here in this container we have some cream highlights from ColourPop to Sonia Kashuk, Absolute, Makeup Revolution. Uh, there's some loose highlighters right here in the back. These are bigger compacts of highlighters, again, random brands, Makeup Revolution, Wet n Wild. Um, I have my little the balm palette because it was just small enough to fit there. So highlighters, some of them. Sorry, my chair squeaks like that. My B. <laughs> then down here we have 
blush, okay? So over here we have all of my Coastal Scents Forever blushes. They fit in one of my little containers so well. So I have all 18 of those. Hope they release more shades. Um, we have Milani. These are all my MAC blushes, okay? Then other brands are mixed in from NYX to, uh, what is that? Uh, what is this? City Color B Matte Blushes are in here. Makeup Revolution, Urban Decay. Cream Blushes, Small Blush Palettes. Okay. Then, I need to really vacuum my floor. Then, down here are all my tint, my face powders with, uh, I guess, tint to them. So, powder foundations. I have Sephora. Uh, everything. NYX. Uh, bare minerals um, these are like my finishing powders specifically loose ones right here and this one just doesn't fit anywhere else so I have Laura Mercier um, black opal makeup forever doesn't matter over here we have more of the light finishing powders or pressed powders and then no yeah pressed powders and then we have like my deluxe like soft folk not deluxe but like my finishing powders that make my face feel like soft focused HD I guess NYX no filter this is um Laura Mercier again elf and then right here are all my yellow like yellow based powders that I set my under eye concealer with as well as some color correcting powders from City Color so yes so that is what I keep under there now let's move along let's move along this is me in the mirror. This mirror is from Impressions Vanity Company. I really, really like it. This is the Hollywood Studio XL. I don't want to need the light bulbs on, but I turned them on to just show you the mirror. So let's turn them off. Look at that. All right, over here. So we have a window. Beautiful natural light. Okay, so what I just keep on the table. Brush cleaner right there. Hand sanitizer. This is a jar that houses all my mini sponges. Like, that blend out concealer. Okay, I have one hand. Hold on. Got to use the thighs to assist. Okay. Um, Beauty Blender Micro Minis. Real Techniques. All, whoa, they're, they're running. All of my just mini sponges. And I don't like to wash brushes or sponges very often. That's why I have a lot of them. And so I have a little bin underneath right there that houses all the dirty sponges as I use them. That looks kind of gross. It almost looks bloody. I swear it's just foundation. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I have some acrylic organizers set up here. Um, right here is this first one. I got it from Amazon. Um... I house my new things that I'm still trying and testing. And to be completely honest, I've tried and tested all this stuff in here. I just haven't put it away yet. Um, but some more things I got from iMats and different things. Sometimes this is empty if there's no new things I'm trying and testing. So basically, they go from that basket that I put my whole stuff in to over here. Um, yeah, I just haven't put some of this stuff away. Next in the middle um, is a little... These little makeup drawers I got from the Dollar Tree. And so I keep like my Q-tips, some more Q-tips in here, eyelash glue, tweezers, some oddly shaped sponges. And on top, I just keep plain Q-tips. These Q-tips are like pointed, cosmetic type. I have a lot of Q-tips and I, I, I go through a lot. I go through a lot of them, you know. Cotton swabs. I don't think I own any name brand Q-tips. And then over here is my shop my stash bin. So when I go through it, I haven't done a video of those in a while. Um, I just have too much new stuff. Um, go through my collection and pull out things that I like that I haven't used in a while and things like that. And like, oh, I remember this. And I put it in the shop my stash to use it. Put it back in the rotation. So then up here is um, just a few things that I just wanted to put on display. So in this one are my mini... Um, high-end luxury mascara samples. I'm going to tell you something. I haven't opened any of these. They're brand new. I have too many mascaras I'm going through. But these are like mini mascara samples I got from like Sephora and different things. Deluxe size um, that I just haven't tried yet. I just have not tried yet because I'm not opening up another mascara in this house. Um, and same thing with this one. This is all my deluxe lips. Now with this, 
Um, all of them are small, mini, and the reason why I put them in here, one, they're cute, but I don't own any full size. So, if I don't own any full size of any of these luxury products, they go in here. I don't know why I decided to do that. I just, I don't know, they all looked pretty together. YSL, Makeup Forever, I have a NARS lip gloss. I don't own any full size NARS lip glosses, just all like high end deluxe lip lips and I've tried them all these aren't like brand new I use them in different things but I don't know they, they're too small to go into my big lipstick organizer because they'll fall through I don't know I just gave them their own home I just put on display now in between the two I keep my favorite lipstick of all time and it's not my favorite lipstick um to wear I've worn it like once um it's not meant to be worn I bought it because <laughs> This makes me giggle, and I've laughed at it ever since I was a kid. And my mom and my brother know anytime I see it or hear it in any combination, I laugh. So, this is the name of this. It's an Urban Decay lipstick. And it's called 69 Cream. <laughs> I'm immature, I know, but 69 makes me giggle. And I bought this lipstick specifically because I found out the name of it was 69, and it just sits there. That's all. <laughs> makes me laugh, makes me smile. It... I don't know. All right. Moving around the room. Here is my wall. Oh, here's my wall of moody drawers. On top is just an empty container as well as my wax warmer, but moody drawers. So what do I keep in my acrylic drawers and my moody drawers? Um, I keep products that A, I have a lot of, like a lot of where they can get their own storage. B, I have the full collection. So you guys know I like to do lip swatch videos, and if I find a lip product that I like the formula of, I'll buy them all. So from top to bottom, really quickly, in these drawers, ooh, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits, as well as my NARS Velvet Lip Glides, okay? Ruby Kisses uh, Liquid Lips. Colourpop Lippy Sticks. Okay, this one. Oh, why is it hard to come over here and get this open? So, in here, the this one, this one, and this one are all my Colourpop Lippies. Ultra Matte, Ultra Satin, some Ultra Glossies. Down here, LA Splash. Okay. Here are all my NYX Soft Matte, oh, I'm sorry, why am I not filming it right? Soft Matte Lip Creams, NYX Liquid, Lange, I mean, yeah, Lingeries, Liquid Suede. These are all that came, the mini ones came in a vault I got from Ulta, so I have all the shades of all of these. Uh, Milani Lip Glosses here. Milani Matte and Metallic Liquid Lipsticks. Lorac lip glosses, as well as some um, Stila ones. More Lorac and NYX. Stila lip glazes and my e.l.f. lip glosses in this little click-up packaging. And Buxom and MAC Amplifies. So that is the lip side. Whew, out of breath. That is the lip side. Now on to the majority eye side. So at the top is the only thing that I, I have all of my ColourPop blushes up here because these drawers come all the way out though so if I want to look at something I just pull it down um put those on display all right I have a few empty ones because I do not like to have my storage full because it makes me feel like oh man <laughs> in here these next few are all of my color pop um eyeshadows okay then in here, we have my mini Z palettes full of like quick to reach for shades, crease shades, transition shades, pops of color. Oh, just open that. Plank. Glitters. Loose shadows. More loose shadows. More loose shadows. NYX. Uh, these are their cream colors. Um, my, oh, can't open this, my plug. Um, my L'Oreal Infallibles here, and then my Maybelline color tattoos. 
So that is what I keep in the towers, okay? So moving on. Ow, hit my knee. Damn it. Right here on the top of this little unit thing, I have some of my setting. Yeah, my setting and yeah, my setting and finishing sprays here. Uh, more down here. Just a box of tissue. In this first drawer is more skincare, moisturizers, masks, treatments. In this drawer are all my facial mists, like before makeup. So primer mists, toner mists, charge waters, stuff like that. Extra cotton back there. And then in here are all my face primers. So in the front, I have all my mattifying face primers because I use those the most. Then we have some like glowy ones here in this cup. Uh, these are like pore refiners and these are those Nivea aftershave balms. So yeah, y'all. All right, so down here, really quickly, this little unit houses, that was my chair, I swear I didn't fart. This little unit houses some random things that are kind of like, it's just like a storage area. So for an example, like in here, I keep all my extra wipes. Um, yeah, it's not really, these are more wipes. It's not really makeup, but I just use this for extra storage. All right, so we're here. I guess I'll start at the top and work my way on through. On through. So, up here, these two babies I got from Amazon, and they must have had a sale. Because these are like $129 a piece. Um, yeah, I didn't pay that. Not crazy. They, I caught them like on Amazon. I happened and was looking for storage, and they were $50. Bucks. Like, and I know stuff like this really huge is not that, not that cheap. So they're $50, um, and... Yeah, Prime, One Day, all that stuff. And I was just like, and then every time I checked again to like link them, or send the link to people, the price went back up. Kind of weird. But anyway, let's share what's in them. So up here are all my foundations. I know it seems like a lot, and it is, because most people have like one. However, I decluttered a lot of my foundations. I had a lot more than this. And I'm going to tell you this, another reason why it looks a lot is most of these I have more than one shade. When I order foundations online, I don't know my shade. So I have to have more. Like I have six NYX drops, two cover effects. I have two LA Girl in the back, two Milani, um, two Wet n Wild, to Jordana so like different ones with different shades but I have all types of foundation here and this is where I keep them and then in this drawer I have um more foundations like cushions and different things I'm actually done with these cushions but I like the compact so I clean them out and just keep them uh these are some more squeeze tubes BB creams and things of the nature you guys know I do not where is it? This Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof. I do not like this foundation, yet I don't have anyone that I can give it to. Like, I've used it a few different times and made it better. Made it better. Like, um, and, like, in the process of, like, um, just, I don't know, I'm trying to get rid of it because I didn't want to throw it away. I would use it more, like, all right, well, let me make sure where I have it, I'll use it. I don't know, it just came one of those love-hate relationships. I still don't like it. <laughs> and here are all my translucent powders. So, doesn't matter, HD, whatever, I just decided to put them up here. Okay, and here are more highlighters. These are Makeup Revolution. My highlighter drawer was overflowing. So I have the Makeup Revolution strobe highlighters, um, Vivid Baked, it's kind of a glare. The Vivid Baked highlighters, this is the Shimmer Brick, so I kept all my Makeup Revolution highlighters there. In here... Um, mine is this one. This is my NYX Strobe of Genius Highlighter Palette. Are all my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. I am proud to say I own all the Glow Kits. Um, every single one of them. I love them. I, I love the quality of these highlighters. So, yeah. That's what's in there. And here's empty. On this side, it's kind of empty. Again, I don't like to... I like to have more storage than I need. That way, I can just collect and 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 have things and not worry about where I'm going to put things. I just don't like that. I need everything to have a place. So, you'll see a few empty drawers. So And that's okay. Right here, I keep in this one... I just keep um, some loose things that didn't fit anywhere else. 
that's pretty much it. On top, I have some more cotton products. This is a little bottle of water that I just use to spray my sponge when I forget to do it at the sink. And in this bucket are all my other sponges from Beauty Blenders to Real Techniques to um, everything. I collect beauty sponges. I use them all. I just don't like to wash them. So now I'm on a mission to fill this jar up. So that's what that's about. Moving over, I'm actually going to go over here and finish over here and then go in these, okay? So, over here is actually just decor. So, um, little box, little calendar. Over here, I do use these brushes, but I just keep them here because they're pretty, pretty sets. My sister bought me these from Wish. These are my storybook Harry Potter brushes, and these are just a pretty set I got from Walmart. Um, yeah, I just keep them here. I do use them, as you can see, a little dirty. I just keep them there, I don't know, on display. All right, and then over here, um, these, these, this area is more lip stuff. So I have, like, complete sets over there, my Muji Drew stuff that I have a lot of, but all the rest of my lip products, I just love lip products. Okay, so in this baby, with all my decor on top, in this baby, I keep all my liquid lipsticks, my matte liquid lipsticks, okay, that aren't over there because I don't have as many of them or whatever. So in the bottom, I have my unorthodox, it's not full, but on the bottom, I have my unorthodox shades like um, purples and blues and grays and blacks and stuff. In the middle are all my reds and deeper nudes and deeper pinks. And then in here are all of my light pinks and light nudes that I would usually mix or wear brown lip liner with. I could honestly declutter this further. I did a big declutter in about a week ago. No, when my mom came up, like two weeks ago. Sorry I didn't film a decluttering video, but we were just drinking wine, having a good time. However, um, my friends come over occasionally and it gets decluttered a lot. I, I, can, I see a few more in there I can get rid of. Um... These are my Lady Moss Lipstick Towers. So when my friend actually bought these for me, my friend Lorenda gifted me these three. Um, they're, they were $99. They were $100 a piece. Now they're like 60 bucks. I, I know. I know. But I've had them for years now. And they've held up very well. So in here I keep all of my bullet lipsticks. I have a lot. Uh, Maybelline. Milani I love. Lorac. Wet n Wild. I have full collections of lip products in, in these two, but there's no point in taking them out of one storage to put them in there. When I can fit other things in there, but I really can only fit lipsticks in here. So, yeah, that's what that's about. And this one is not full, but I'm still, I still have my lipsticks, NYX, different things. Okay, over here, right here in this Muji drawer, I have another little Muji drawer area. I house all my liquid lipsticks that aren't matte. I don't have that many. These L'Oreal ones are really good. Uh, all my lip liners, empty drawer, um, some more lip pencils, like chunkier lip pencils, and then these are my lip palettes. I don't even know if I did a video on this palette. It's a, the Anastasia palette. I love it. Don't know if I did a video on it, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then in this, I keep more lip balm. Like, I go in here and grab one and put it in my purse every day. So, my lip balm. Uh, these are lip glosses um, that pretty much come off clear or like a light pink. Okay? And then here are all my lip glosses that have color to them. And that's what's over here. Now, here we go. This video is not that long. We're going to go into these three Muji drawers, and these are probably going to be everyone's favorite because they all house eye products. I know. All of my eye products. So let's start here. In this top drawer, we have brows. Okay? These three house all my brow products from pomades to pencils to brow gel, everything like that. And then this is my eye primers. Urban Decay Primer Potion right on top. I use it all the time. Elf, LA Girl, um, Bases. These are all my jumbo eye pencils. They actually can be moved. I can rearrange this if I wanted to. Every time I film videos like this, like my beauty room tour, I'm making changes even now. So it's never a good time to film because I'm always evolving. <sighs> and here are more cream bases that didn't fit in the Muji drawers. So I have random ones. Oh my God, these Dream Mousse shadows are still going strong. I love them. Wish they kept making them. Um, 
Revlon, I own one MAC paint pot. Um, Elf, Cream, Shadows. And then over here I have mascara, so I'm not opening up another one. A lot of these, I think, are on the back end now, can be thrown away. Just I gotta recheck them again, but I have so much more than this, and I de threw them away and everything like that, so. That's why I can't open up another damn mascara. All right, and here we have eyeliner. Uh, cream gel eyeliner in bright colors. More neutral colors of cream gel eyeliner. My blacks, my dark blues, browns. These are all my liquid liners. I really gave this a haul over. Like, this was overflowing. And um, I went through it two weeks ago when my mom was up here. It was a lot I got rid of. Um, and yet I still have all these colors. But they're the best colors. Um, yeah, colored liquid eyeliners. Then we have all my... Um, these are liquid liners, but these are just my black liquid liners, whether it's a felt tip or a brush. I just keep those separate from everything else. And then we have pencil liners in dark dark browns and blacks, blues, purples, and then my brown pencil liners. And I have everything from like Urban Decay, NYX, Maybelline, Rimmel. Those are some of my favorites. Moving down. In here we have single shadows that I do not care to depot and put in the magnetic palette or what have you. And they are sorted by color. White, silver shades, smoky shades, uh, browns, neutrals, uh, metallics, blues and purples right here, greens and oranges and pinks, okay? I have all types of brands from Urban Decay, uh, NYX, LA Colors, H&M, Rimmel. Um, and I just, and I, some just single shadows, I like the packaging, and I just don't care to depot them. Like these, I feel so bad that I depotted these. I have the whole set of these Milani, um, gel powder eyeshadows you'll see in the next drawer. And I just was, I depotted them all, made one big palette, and I just, now that I have the Muji drawers, I would have loved for these to be in the Muji drawer with their packaging. And so I've seen them in the dollar store a few times, so I think I'm gonna start collecting the colors again and then give the palette away. So, it depends on if I have the time. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I am into Urban Decay singles now, I just don't like paying full price for them. So when I catch them on a discount in different things or someone selling them on Makeup Exchange, I'll get a color or so, and if I have enough of these, they'll get a moody drawer. I will not depot these, I love the packaging. But um, colors are beautiful, um, and I just, yeah, I like those. <laughs> but just different ones, and yeah. So they're sorted by shade, so I can get them easily. All right, let me sit down for this, because I feel like I'm too high. Okay, this drawer houses all of my palettes. Well, no, magnetic palettes, okay? So... Um, right here in the front are my pressed glitter palettes. These are some loose glitters that didn't fit anywhere else. They'll go up there later. Um, but yeah, so in here I keep coastal scents, rollover coastal scents, because most of my coastal scents shadows fit in these Adept Cosmetic double-sided uh, magnetic palettes. Check this out. Hold on. One hand here. So, these are some of my Coastal Scents shadows. This is like 96. And then the other one is full of Coastal Scents shadows as well. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. So, these are Coastal Scents shadows. And then that's some rollover ones. Um, what else I have in here? This is my Milani palette. I depotted all of them. Uh, this is, like, I have some empty Morphe palettes with shadows in them from various brands. I have so many from various brands. Um, over here, I keep all the same brand in the same palette. Like, I don't mix the shades. So, like, in this palette, I can just tell. I, I don't know how, how I figured it out. I don't know, but I can just tell. In this palette are all my Morphe singles. And then in this palette are all my carity singles. I just, yeah, it's no point mixing them up. Then I gotta lift them up and look at the bottom and know what brand it is when I'm doing using them in a video or something. Like, yeah, no, I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> so some things are easier to sort by brand. Other things, I like to mix it up because you never know. 
because you never know. Uh, right down here, I have my MAC palette with three MAC shadows, and then this is a pressed MAC pigment. It's only... Uh, then I have Inglot, my three Inglot palettes, as well as my Melt Stack. Okay. This next drawer is one of my favorites. This is my eyelash drawer. You can tell I love Coco Lashes. Um, but I have Eyelore back here, some other brands. These are some singles or some clusters. These are other... I wouldn't say... In the, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I would just say a little bit more natural lashes. Um, a little bit more natural lashes in the sense of like everyday ones, I guess. Um, random brands, but really Coco Lashes is where it is. Then these are all laid out. These are like my favorite, like my dramatic ones. And they're doubled or tripled up if I have more than one, more than one pair like this. Um, these are my Queen Bees. Queen Bee. Queen B. Um, these are my new favorites over here. Venus. Oh. So. And they're fairly inexpensive. They're like six bucks. So. Yeah, you guys. All right. Now we're going to go over to this drawer. This houses most of my drugstore palettes or smaller eye palettes. Um, most. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. So over here in the top drawer is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild, I haven't bought a Wet n Wild trio or five pan in so long. But um, yeah, here are the ones that I have. Some of the bigger palettes in the back. These are all the trios that I own from Wet n Wild. Oh my God, I love Wet n Wild shadows. These are the five pan and six pan, some limited edition. These are eight pan. Yeah, that's Wet n Wild. Then, um... This is e.l.f. and L.A. Colors. So we have e.l.f. palettes here. The $1, oh my God, the $1 quads, y'all. E.l.f. $1 quads. Got to do a video on those. Taking it back. And then L.A. Colors. I'll tell you guys this. First eyeshadow palette I ever owned. Not this one. I've gone through probably like five of these. Um, but this is like the first bright eyeshadows that I wore on a regular basis, LA Colors Tees. I wore them in high school. I wore so much that my coach called me Mimi. Remember Mimi from Drew Crow Show with her bright eyeshadow? That's what he called me. That was my nickname because of my bright eyeshadow. <laughs> so. And here is a mix mishmash, uh, Flower Beauty, Milani, Milani, Revlon, Sonia Kashuk. Uh, Jessie's Girl, these are from Profusion, if I'm not mistaken, City Color, it's a lot, <laughs> and then more random, M Revlon, Maybelline, the nude ones, Beauty Treats, Makeup Revolution, Coastal Scents, L'Oreal. Okay, next we have NYX. So some, again, sort of by branding, get their own drawer if it's a lot of them. NYX, the Ultimates, the Avant Pop, Wicked Dreams, and this little small purple one. BH Cosmetics, Party Girl, Galaxy Chic, Take Me to Brazil. Um, yeah, all my BH Cosmetics palettes in this drawer. And then, and here I have some palettes that are more for nostalgia, more for just collector's purposes, to be completely honest. Except the top one. This top one I bought is from Beauty Treats. Um, and it's a really pretty decent matte eyeshadow palette. I just don't use it anymore. However, my boyfriend's niece likes to come and play in my makeup. So this is now her palette. And I pulled this one out and she can dig and mess up the colors however much she wants. And that's the only reason why that one's still there. The other ones, oh my goodness. So this is a Cinderella palette. I just, look how pretty it is. And then these are my e.l.f. 144s. Oh my God, they were the first huge palettes I ever bought. 144 eyeshadows. I live by these. This is the neutral one, and this is the uh, colorful 144. Like, you guys. 144 eyeshadows, it was $15. And e.l.f. would have those buy one, get one free. Oh my god, beautiful. 
And this is the Elf Beauty. I have a few other Elf Beauty books that I'm willing to let go of. Um, but this is the one that I know I'm keeping. And it is the Belle. Because she's my favorite Disney princess. So, yeah. Some things you just keep because they're close to your heart. And that's, that's the only reason. And that's okay. <laughs> Down here is empty. And I keep my packaging in here. Um, my empty packaging. Once this gets full, it goes into a box. I have a box over there. But right now, like, I put it in the drawer first. I just, yeah. So this is empty packaging that's not made it to the wall. And then down here are all of my empty magnetic palettes. Z palettes, um, Coastal Scents, Morphe, other Z palettes. Yeah, I don't buy magnetic palettes. I, I do buy them when they're on super sale. Like when Coastal Scents has their 50% off sale, these are like $2. Ones with mirrors, one with clear fronts, everything. Magnetic palettes. Magnetic palettes. Ooh, my hand's getting a cramp from holding the camera. Last tower, you guys. So in here, what can you think is in here? Larger eyeshadow palettes. Um, and these are sorted by brand because, oh no, just keep them together. I, top drawer, Urban Decay. So I have the Naked Palettes, Naked 1, Naked 2, Naked 3, Naked Smoky. I have Full Spectrum, Smoked, Ultimate Basics, Vice 4, Ammo, The After Dark, The Naked Basics 1 and 2, and The Electric. Too Faced in here. So we have Chocolate Bars, Pretty Rebels, Stardust, The Natural Love, which I like. Chocolate Chips and White Chocolate Chips, which I didn't like so much. Natural, um, I'm sorry, Matte Eye. Then we have Peanut Butter and Jelly, Sugar Pop, Rock and Roll, Boudoir Eyes, and um, Cat Eyes. So my Too Faced palette. This drawer is my best smelling drawer for all the chocolate and peaches. And oh my God, it smells so good. Lorac, the Mega Pros 1, 2, and 3, as well as the Brunch, um, the Pro 1, 2, and 3. You know I, Lorac is my favorite eyeshadow formula. The Gold, um, Unzipped, and the regular Unzipped, some Skinny Palettes, uh, the Pro Matte and Pro Metallic. Um, and these are like the small ones you get like Black Friday and stuff. So, Lorac. Okay, this one has the balm and Kat Von D. So we have the balm in the balm of your hand. I love this palette. Um, nude Dude, Nude Tude. The meat mats are so good. I always pull those out for good mats. Uh, Matrimony, Meat Matte Nude. Then we have Kat Von D. This palette was so funny. When I was in college, uh, my friend Devin knew I really liked makeup. And she gave me, shout out to Devin, she gave me this palette. And this technically, I guess, was my first mid-range or high-end palette. And she gave it to me. Kat Von D. Yeah. Then we have Kat Von D. Pastel Gauze, Serpentina, Shade and Light, and Metal Matte. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> then in here, I'm keeping, well, minus the two Juvia's place. I had palettes from my high-end brands that I only had one of. So Smashbox, Tarte, Huda, Modern, uh, Alan Sunch Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance, but now I have two Juvia's place palettes. I, just, I put them there. <laughs> Morphe, I have a lot of Morphe palettes. These are the 28s and the 35s, and they're sort of like this, so I can just see the sticker and pull out the one that I need. That's why they're like that. They're 12 pan ones, as well as the 25. So that's the Morphe drawer. This is empty. This is going to house my fake palettes. If you guys, I just did a video on, this is a fake Modern Renaissance palette from eBay. So I guess I'll keep all my fake palettes in here. I don't know, but that's just where it went. This is empty. There's a, some containers. <laughs> and then this houses all my stuff to press, like eyeshadows and press glitters, my magnetic pans, empty jars, stuff like that. Whoa. 
Am I done, man? I think I finished. That's my makeup collection. Um, little couple tidbits. Down here, I have a basket with all of like my micellar waters and makeup removers and things like that. This is like, that's my empties bag. Cleaner, alcohol. I don't know what else to show you guys. That's pretty much it. That is it. Um, so yeah, that's my makeup collection, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stayed for the entire length of it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about my makeup, how I organize it, I'm actually going to link my subreddit. I created a subreddit all about makeup organization. And I'm going to link it down below for you. Um, anything else I can link, again, the product, um, store, anything I can, I will. Um, but yeah, I love you all. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.